Hello, I'm Bridget Matros. I'm an artist living in Belfast, Maine, and I'm also the Kids and Families Program Manager at Waterfall Arts. This is my studio tour and Easter egg hunt. First, let's start looking around the room and then we'll get to the eggs. I'm so, so lucky to have found a gorgeous apartment with <clears throat> this amazing space. It's got all kinds of really cool storage built into the walls and really nice light. Um, I think this was the master bedroom for the last people that lived here. My printer lives. This table in the middle is usually where I throw stuff that is a work in progress. So you can see I'm sewing right now. 10 points if you can guess what I'm sewing. Lately I've been going on walks and taking pictures and sketching all the little architectural details that you see on the beautiful houses around here um, because I want to do a, a paper cut and this actually is from uh, the neighbor's house across the street, the guard's house. I want to do a really colorful paper cut of that but what I'm really into is learning um, how to draw filigree, the fancy swirlies that you can find all over houses around the windows and over the doors in town. Lettering. I'm a lettering junkie. I'm trying to brush up on my <clears throat> hand-drawn letters. If you guessed that I was sewing masks, you were right. I'm so impressed with myself. I picked a more difficult pattern. Um, but with watching lots of videos, I figured out how to make a really nice mask that gives you full coverage. I'm on my third one. This is uh, something I was working on last summer, my line of glow-in-the-dark jewelry under the name of 2AM. So my plan was uh, pre-coronavirus that I was gonna get an Etsy shop going <laughs> online. And so I started photographing um, the pieces, but now I'm thinking, will there ever be a day when people want to buy glow-in-the-dark jewelry again? I don't know the answer to that question. I was up last night working at my desk here um, on an egg, actually. And my students would freak out because look at what I'm using. Glitter. In the art studio at Waterfall, it's a glitter-free zone. I was also into making uh, linen aprons last summer. We'll see if that comes back to life. But it couldn't be a studio visit without saying hello to Rosie. She's pretty psyched. So before we get to the Easter egg hunt, I just thought I would say a couple words about how I ended up doing things with eggs. Um, uh, before I moved to Maine, I lived in Boston and I was um, doing a, a body of work that was uh, very different. It was <clears throat> really personal and uh, graphic and um, not kid friendly. And since moving to Maine and becoming a part of this community in Belfast in the particular role that I have here, uh, I've found it not possible to be doing work like that. Um, I would love to go back to it, but I'm not sure how that would happen. So eggs <laughs> and craftier work, you know, the jewelry and um, yeah, egg dioramas. So I'll show you a couple pictures and then we'll start looking around the room. I wanted to show you a couple of eggs that I don't actually have in the studio right now because they're in a gallery in Biddeford, Maine. They were in a show uh, whose topic was teensy tiny artworks. And so this chicken egg diorama of a happy couple in their brand new apartment is a part of that show. And this egg is actually in someone's personal collection and they let me borrow it for the show. This one is heartbreaking to see the photo of because um, I love it so much. It's the one egg that I actually made all the pieces in. I sculpted those geese out of uh, polymer clay and unfortunately this egg uh, got busted at the gallery and I haven't seen it yet in person and I'm not really <laughs> looking forward to seeing it. But anyway, let's get to the egg hunt.
I realized when taking pictures last night for this video that I actually have some more eggs. So we're gonna step into my living room for a minute and see if we can find them. find the one that's on this shelf it's right underneath this glass dome Oopsie. you might have seen an egg like this before um, this is a technique called pisanki it's a, a Ukrainian and Polish tradition of decorating eggs um, using wax and many many dips in different colors of dye and then oh my gosh this was a gift from Liza Wheeler look at this can you believe this is an egg this is an ostrich egg and some wackadoodle put Humpty Dumpty painting of Humpty Dumpty, who himself was an egg, and of course you know what happened to him. He had a great fall. That's a real egg. It's super duper strong. I happen to have another one, because people think of me when they think of eggs, which is uh, maybe unfortunate, maybe not. Um, here is one that no one has painted on yet, and this was from Alan Crichton. Lorna and Alan. Um, I had dreams of carving this. If you Google ostrich egg carvings, there are people doing really amazing work with that. But they're so wicked hard and thick. Um, the tools that I have are no match for ostrich egg. Oh man, that's cool, huh? <laughs> I better put it back there. All right. How about what I think is the easiest one first? I think you probably spotted this guy over here. Um, this really was just sitting here. I decided to leave it in its spot. I didn't even have to hide it. Um, this was the last egg that I worked on. I was wanting to do a, a tribute to my favorite artist, one of my favorite artists, Yayoi Kusama and her infinity rooms. Um, and I couldn't find a glass cutter. There were a number of issues also just kind of a difficult <laughs> challenge I made for myself. I didn't finish it. We'll see. We'll see if I start again on that one. And there's another one close by that I was working on last night. Right up here. I did not do the beautiful decoration on this egg. I actually got this at Left Bank Books, I think, last year and decided to do something with it. Turn it that way. This is not a, this is the only one that isn't a real egg. It's paper mache. And then you might have seen the stop motion animation that I did with this one. Um, I posted it on this, on the event page, but um, last night I made that little paper chain. It took me forever. <laughs> this is a really weird egg. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I don't know. I just had bunnies and I had to do that. Over here, let's see if you found, um, I think there are three eggs in this area. Did you find the one that's around here? Yeah, it's a biggie. Some of these eggs might be bigger than you were thinking in your mind. Let me see if I can get this down without dropping everything. Oh, look at the little baby on there. This is a goose egg. And you could see it, there's a hole in it, two holes in it, because I had to blow out all the eggy stuff. 
And then it looks like I painted it with acrylic paint and then I drew on it with a paint pen. It's a nice one. And two more. Hmm. This one I think is easier to spot unless you didn't know an egg could look like that. This might have gotten me going on eggs because I remember there was a Christmas tree ornament competition at Fiddlehead Artisan Supply uh, years ago. And I had a goose egg and I'm pretty competitive. <laughs> so this is what happened. I got ET mission control on his Christmas spaceship. He's filling in for Santa Claus. He's got a little control console in there. And I always like to let some light in too, or it gets mighty dark inside an egg. So there's that. Oh, there you go. And the other one, it's just a normal sized egg hiding right under here, under my goat. I had a bunch of these and I sold some of them and I gave some of them away. I don't know if you could see that this is fuzzy. I used a glue pen and then some of this stuff. It's like glitter, but it's fuzzy. It's called flocking. Now, over here. This next one was the hardest one. You really have to have an eagle eye. But there is one on these shelves. Come back down. Tell me if you see it. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, I hit it really well. This is the bathroom egg. This is actually an egg holder. Look at that. It wants to hold an egg that way. Um, yep, I don't know what else to say about that. It's a bathroom inside an egg. I kind of feel bad that I didn't make all the pieces in there. I actually found those at a garage sale, those little miniature plastic pieces. But I did stuff like the floor and the little carpets and the bathtub there's actually these little bead things that you use for floral arrangements and it's got a window of course mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there are two not yeah there are two eggs on this set of shelves all my stuff I really do use a lot of this stuff believe it or not here we go. This one might have been easy. I thought it was tricky because it had a hole in it, but... Oh, it's on its stand. That's good. This... I'd like to display this with a light behind it. Can you see if that's a hole? So that it looks like there's moonlight shining and it glistens on the, on the snow on the trees, just like in real life. That's another goose egg. One more, heading down here. <clears throat> this is just a regular egg with a crackle finish. And I drew on it. These chicken eggs are a lot more fragile. I think I'm gonna put it in there with the goat on that fluffy moss. I almost forgot. I bet I'm going to be finding eggs for quite some time because I forgot where I hid them all. But this guy, I'm bummed I won't really be able to show you too much, but there's a glow-in-the-dark moon in the back of it and a moth. And if you twirl this wire around, yep, oh yeah, you can see it a little bit. The moth is flying around the moon. Uh-huh. Okay. So there you have it. There's the tour. I hope you enjoyed visiting me. If only virtual, it was really nice to have some friends over. Uh, as you can see, the energy level is pretty high here in the studio, so we better get to work. I hope to see you soon. Come back anytime. Uh -huh.